Jesus has complete authority. He has authority over the sun, the moon, the stars, our planet. He keeps it all in orbit and going at exactly the right timing. And today is no different. He has ordained this sunrise to come up. This sun, is, well actually the sun isn't coming up. We're going around the sun, right? But isn't it amazing that the sunrise every day is ordained by the Lord Jesus. His authority knows no bounds. But yet there's still proud hearts today that don't submit to him. And as we look at Matthew 21 today, uh, wow. We, we see that, that there are people who are still just proud in their hearts and don't submit to the Lord. So today's reading, CFC, today's reading is from Matthew 21, verses 23 through 46. So Matthew 21, 23 through 46. Please take the time to read the, those, all of those verses, but for today's devotional, for this video, we are only going to read verses 23 through 27. So here we are in Matthew 21. Jesus' authority questioned. Matthew 21, starting verse 23. Now when he came into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted Jesus as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? But Jesus answered and said to them, I also ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, where was it from? From heaven or from men? And they reason among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say from men, we fear the multitude. For all count John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus and said, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. While the chief priests, the Pharisees, the elders here, they, they, they were cowardly. They feared man and they didn't fear Jesus enough. Because Jesus has complete authority. They should have said, you know what, Jesus, you have all authority. We need to submit our lives to you. You see, Jesus has proven his authority over and over again. Just in this chapter in Matthew, just earlier, the crowds recognize that Jesus is the prophet, and they, they recognize that he is fulfilling messianic prophecies, that he is the son of David. Jesus' authority was obvious to the crowds. He immediately he enters the temple. He's like a man on a mission coming into Jerusalem. He enters the temple and he gets those the buyers and the sellers out of the temple and he claims this is my house. This is my house and my house shall be called a house of prayer. He is he is he's pushing his authority to where it needs to be. He said, "Listen, everything that goes on in this house needs to be done according to my authority because it is mine." He heals the blind and the lame. Just a few verses earlier, he heals people that have been blind, people that can't walk, people that can't see. Unbelievable authority over sickness. And even the children here, the children recognize his authority and they worship him. And the scribes and the Pharisees, again, there's this, there's this indignant attitude that they have. Say, what, well, you, can't let these, you can't let these children worship you. But Jesus is one to be worshiped. And he withers a fig tree just by his command. Unbelievable power and authority over creation. In the Gospels, we see Jesus as the one who calms the sea and the wind. And that's what the disciples say after he calms the storm. He has power over the weather. Today is going to be a gorgeous day. Unbelievable power and authority that Jesus has. He casts out thousands of demons. No power of hell can stand up to his word. Jesus heals epileptics, epileptics, paralytics. He has authority over the physical body. Jesus cleanses lepers of the devastating disease. And as the sun is rising now, we're reminded again, he has control over the cells in our body and over the biggest celestial things in the sky. That is our God. He has authority. At the end of Jesus' most famous sermon, the Sermon on the Mount, it ends with this. The crowds were astonished at his teaching because Jesus was teaching them like one who had authority and not like their scribes. Years of education, years of tradition, yet their teaching lacked authority. Most likely because their lives were marked by hypocrisy. But Jesus' life was marked by compassion, putting 
his walk where his talk was, healing the multitudes, casting out demons, filled with the Holy Spirit, he preached without fear of man. And the book of Matthew ends with Matthew 28, 18, the Great Commission. Jesus came near and said to them, all authority, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them everything I have commanded you. Wow, we are commanded to walk in obedience to Jesus Christ because he has all authority. It says in Philippians 2.10 that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. He's our Savior. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the High Priest. He's the Alpha and Omega. He sits at the right hand of God. He's the one that Daniel the prophet prophesied, the Son of Man, who would have complete dominion and authority of God while he's on the earth. And as Jesus departs, he says, all authority in heaven and in earth has been given unto me. Saints, during this time, I want our complete bodies, soul, mind, and spirit to be under the complete authority of Jesus Christ. If you have not submitted your life to Christ, if you're watching this and you're not a believer, submit to the authority of Jesus Christ. He is in control. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. All authority belongs to him. Don't question his authority. Submit to it. God bless you.